Hey, this is Dan from VHIX411.com. Today I'll show you how to program the immobilizer system, security system on a Mercedes C Class year 2000 and 2005. Uh, this is the old module, it's bad. This is the new module from a junkyard. You always want to make sure this part number is all the numbers match the same. So if this number does not match, don't waste your time. So if all the numbers match, from our old one to our new one. Just remove the screws, open it up. Already got the screws up. Off. So I'll open it up. And obviously, on the back side of it, this is this would be the front side. The back side of it, you will see a couple chips, EPROMs. And the EPROM, this one right here. It starts with an SP452. So this EPROM right here in this location, you will have to clean it up. This is where the security immobilizer system is located on. So you have to clean it up with acetone. So I clean up over here. And I clean up over here. On this newer one, you can probably see it better. The reading. What it says on it. Anyway. Once you clean it up with acetone, you will need a foil. But before you put on uh, the foil and remove it, get a permanent marker and of course mark the way the chip is located on the board. So since it's, I can read the numbers this way, this will be the number one EEPROM. If you can read the numbers that way, that will be number one. But obviously, number one is usually this way. So the numbers, you will be able to read them like this. So make it number one, mark it here, mark it here. And uh, my original one, I'll just color it in that way. I don't confuse it with this one if I take it off. So what I'll do, get my foil, grab my heat gun. Heat it up and remove it. Give it about a minute for it to heat up. So once it heats up, all I do is I have this little pick tool right here. Once it heats up, you just pry it a little bit on one of the pins and it will pop off. Get the chip off on one. So this is the chip that will start the car because that's the original file. So now I'll remove the chip on my new board. That's ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now that I got the EPROM removed. Don't confuse which one's new, which one's old. This is from the new module. That's from an old, the original one. What you're gonna try to do is clean up this area. That way your other chip will sit in here pretty good.
You gotta be very careful not to ruin the board, circuit board. Once so you have it warmed up a little bit with the heat gun, it'll be actually easier. So, get that removed. Clean it up again with my acetone. Now, what I'll do, get my sol solder iron, and of course, kind of make these tracks. Just touch it a little bit. That way, once you touch it a little bit, it will uh, melt the track. It will be perfectly and smooth and even. That way when you put your chip on, it will be nice and smooth. So let me try to even it out. Alright, now it's even. Now I painted or colored my original EEPROM to make sure I don't confuse it. And actually, to read the chip, it's 5P. So not an SP or whatever I said before. So it's 5P. You will need one of these pick tools to hold it in place. Just put it in the middle, make sure it's aligned everywhere and then just tap it with solder iron. I'll try to set it up to show it. Don't really have a hundred hands, so you'll see what you'll see. So I will align it, make sure it's good, and I will start with one corner. So one corner, another corner, So I usually do the corners first and all you do is just melt it in there. Turn it around, set this a little bit. Alright, now that I got it soldered, make sure the it's properly soldered. Here's one. You can read the numbers this way. Uh, once you're done soldering, make sure in between, no, there's nothing in there in, the, in between contacts. <laughs> so once it's done, let's put it together. All you do is just swap the chip from this one to here. Even if you have a programmer to read this chip with a programmer, you have to take it off. So once you have it off, might as well just put it on. Don't waste time with programming. Or reading it and downloading to another so that's how you program the immobilizer on a Mercedes C-Class this will start your car now if you don't want to do this you can send it out to Carmen Auto with a K K R M A N auto.com they can do it for you for a hundred bucks they can read it clone it whatever or swap the chip so that's how you clone or uh, program the immobilizer system on the Mercedes